Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, we're made, meeting today to talk with representatives of the Blue Ribbon Commission on America's Nuclear Future, as well as to hear from the NRC staff. This meeting offers an important opportunity for the agency to discuss in detail the comprehensive recommendations that the Blue Ribbon Commission made to Energy Secretary Chu this past January. This report is the culmination of nearly two years of work by the Commission in developing recommendations for creating a safe long-term solution for managing and disposing of the nation's spent nuclear fuel and high-level radioactive waste. And we're very thrilled to have uh, General Brent Scrocroft here today to talk about the report. And I think it's very important for us to hear directly from the Commission on its eight key recommendations and their possible impl implications. Many of these recommendations require action by the administration and Congress, but the path and progress of these efforts will have significant implications on the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. The more we know going forward, the better we can plan ahead. So the issues of permanent storage for spent nuclear fuel are very important for the country, and we look forward to a very interesting discussion today. I'd offer my colleagues an opportunity to make <clears throat> any remarks that they would like. Okay. Uh, General, we'll turn it over to you. And, uh, your well, we'll now hear uh, from um, from the staff on their uh, their views on the uh, on the Blue Ring Commission's report and, and uh, their uh, discussion of NRC actions to date to address the issues and, and potential actions going forward. So, Michael, turn it over to you. Good morning, Chairman, Commissioners. Uh, I'm Mike Weber. I'm one of NRC's Deputy Executive Directors for Operations, and I'm obviously filling in for Bill Borchert. Uh, Bill is at the Fukushima Steering Committee, so uh, he was unable to attend uh, this morning's meeting. The purpose of the staff's presentation is to discuss the potential implications of the Blue Ribbon Commission's recommendations for NRC's regulatory framework and for our regulatory programs. Now, it's important to point out, as already been mentioned, that the Department of Energy uh, has the lead responsibility within the administration for developing and implementing a strategy to ensure safe, secure management of spent nuclear fuel and other nuclear wastes. As directed uh, by the Congress in the fiscal year 2012 appropriations, the Department is preparing a strategy to respond to the Blue Ribbon Commission's recommendations, uh, and we understand that that should be out later this year. The actual implications of the Commission's report will depend on how national policy is changed by the administration and by the Congress, uh, and then how it is implemented and funded. Now, as the NRC is the regulator of the civilian nuclear safety and security, most of the elements of the strategy and the recommendations put forward by the Blue Ribbon Commission relate to NRC's ongoing regulatory activities. As you will hear from staff today from the Office of Nuclear Materials Safety and Safeguards, we intend to monitor the development of the national policy and uh, adjust our regulatory program as directed by the Commission. Our primary objective is to ensure the safety and the security of the spent nuclear fuel that already exists and will continue to be generated. Our secondary objective is to be prepared to move forward as the nation uh, needs us to in executing our regulatory functions. Alicia Mullins will summarize the implications for the NRC programs pertaining to cross-cutting topics from the Blue Ribbon Commission report. And those topics include stakeholder engagement, a new waste management organization, uh, funding, innovation in the technology, and leadership. Dr. Britt Hill will describe the implications of the Blue Ribbon Commission's recommendations uh, with respect to geologic disposal, storage, and the nuclear fuel cycle. And then Earl Easton will focus on the implications of the Blue Ribbon Commission recommendations for transportation safety and security. And then when Earl is finished, they'll hand it back to me, and I'll wrap up uh, with some brief remarks on how we're using the lessons learned from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear emergency to ensure the safety and security of spent fuel management. So with that, uh, let me turn it over to Alicia. Thank you, Mike. Good, good morning.